Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the WorkSharp Ken Onion Elite Bundle to make all the knives in your house razor blade sharp. This is one of the easiest systems that I've found to work with. It's great for the beginner and the advanced knife sharpener alike. And I'm going to show you how we're going to take this thrift store fine butter knife dull chef's knife and turn it into a razor sharp working kitchen tool. All using the Ken Onion Elite Kit from WorkSharp. Hit that subscribe button down there. Check this out. All right, so we got this bundle with the original WorkSharp Ken Onion uh, design sharpener. This thing has your built-in guides on it, including for scissors, which is really nice. You can sharpen your household scissors with this thing. Had an assortment of belts, including an extra fine belt. These are great for the beginners that aren't really good at maintaining an angle. With this knife sharpener, what you would do is use these guides right here to help you hold the blade at the correct angle and just basically pull it through as you sharpen. You would hold it up against this blade guide Starting at the beginning at the heel of the knife, this gives you the proper angle. Your angle can be set here. It's currently set at 20 degrees. You would hold the knife in there at the starting point, pull the trigger, and then just pull the knife through. And that's how you would achieve that angle. Now to change this out to the grinder attachment, which is gonna be more for your advanced users, you use this lever right there, push that in, rotate the whole assembly, and it'll pull right off the machine. Then you can just install the grinder attachment. Just kind of twist locks on there. There you go, just like that. And now the tool is all set up and ready to go for freehand sharpening, grinding, polishing, honing, etc. This little button right here goes right in the shaft of the tool. It is a left-hand thread. And what this is going to do is become your bottom wheel and your guide for your belt. To install the belt's pretty easy. I'm going to use a coarse belt for starters on this knife. You just put that in there. Then you pull it there to get it up on the wheels and you're good to go. Now the WorkSharp Ken Onion grinder attachment is on the tool and it's ready for sharpening. This is your angle guide. This is your adjustment. It's currently set at 20 degrees. This is good for general use kitchen knives, work knives. If you need something really sharp for a slicer, you might go down to a 17 or even a 15 degree setting and you can do that there. The way you adjust it, you loosen this knob and this wheel will adjust up and down. This is going to give you the angle that you want for your edge up here. This is the part where you'll be doing your knife sharpening right between these two wheels. The basic idea behind this is you would lay your knife blade on this surface right here. This is a nice level surface. This establishes your zero angle and then when you go to sharpen you would just transfer the knife straight up and maintain that level angle on your edge and run the blade right across there as you sharpen it. And that is how you're going to achieve the desired angle. Now this knife is in terrible condition, $5 at the thrift store, just to make this video. This thing is just stupid dull, it's, there's nothing here. There's just like no edge to speak of. It would probably cut you if you really tried, but it is dull. You can feel a burr on it a little bit. And it's just a crappy old chef's knife. It says it's a Japanese steel knife, we'll see. Also got this little work knife that we're gonna sharpen as well, about the same condition, and I believe from the same manufacturer. This will end up being a new bait knife on the boat, and it is also very dull from the looks of the edge. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but this was used on one of those rotary stone sharpeners where you roll it back and forth. We're going to have to resurface that edge as well. So anyway, this will serve to be our before picture of this knife. Show you both edges. Got some stains on there. We'll clean that up. It looks like it'd be a pretty decent knife. It's an old homestead. I think it'll make a decent knife once it's sharpened back up. The WorkSharp also has a speed adjustment on the motor. I've gotten feedback on some of my knife sharpening videos using the belt sander that the belt creates too much heat. You can control that by simply controlling the speed of your belt. Slow that down. That's much better. So high speed. Low speed. And this will not harm the steel of your knife. I took a little Flitz metal polish and went ahead and cleaned up the blade a little bit uh, just to get it presentable before I turned it into a razor blade. So let's go ahead and try this thing out. I have it on a lower RPM. We'll start down here level.
what we're doing is reprofiling this blade a little bit. I want to show you guys when I'm running this knife I'm keeping the edge of the blade kind of perpendicular to the movement of the belt the belts moving this way I'm keeping the blade going this way so I'm maintaining that perpendicular angle all the way through that stroke following the curve of the blade along as we go Oh yeah, that's coming along really nice right now. So just on those first couple passes, I've reprofiled this edge. It now has a perfect profile. I can feel a little bit of a burr right there. You can catch it on your fingernail. That's where you want to stop. You have a really nice profile to this edge. You can put this knife in the surface right now and it would be a totally useful edge on this knife. But we could do better. I'm going to go ahead and change this belt out. To the fine belt a couple of passes with a fine belt <laughs> that dude is getting sharp, man. That dude right now is good and sharp, but we can do even better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and change this thing out now to the cloth belt. I got the set of two cloth belts and two different honing compounds. The green is the first one, the red is the final. This is for really getting that mirror edge finish on this edge. That's like a fine honing compound. Here, clean that up carefully. Because right now this blade is really sharp. And I haven't even put the final touch on it yet, but it is going to be crazy sharp right now. Wow. Yep. Very sharp. I think we can do a little better. You gotta be real careful when you're cleaning the honing compound off that edge because that dude is gonna be sharp. I don't know if that thing will focus and show you just how sharp that thing looks, but it is like a mirror finish on that already. And I haven't even hit it with a fine compound yet. <laughs> so let me just show you how sharp this thing got. Look at that. 
That is past razor sharp right there, y'all. That's crazy. Just crazy sharp. The Workshop Ken Onion Elite Bundle is freaking fantastic. You guys, pretty much any of you can learn how to use this tool. Pretty simple, just like that. If you have questions, leave them down there in the comments below. This will be part one in a series around the Ken Onion Knife Sharpener from Workshop. I've actually got a pocket knife with a broken tip. I'm going to use this to fix as well as turn it back into a razor blade, recondition that knife. This will make a nice little chef's knife. I think I'm going to keep this one. So let's do it one more time with this knife. This is the other one that I got. Just a little carving knife. Again, dull, dull as could be. That's before. All right, I'll put a lot more work into that one because I'm trying to get this point back on there. I don't think I'm going to keep removing metal. But you can see the edge does not get hot. When you have that belt sander on low, it's one of the nice things about the work sharp is you can turn that RPM down to low. Switched out to the finer belt. Right, let's see if that's a little better. All right, let's see how it is now. That's what I'm looking for. That is sharp. That's what we're looking for right there. Links to the Workshop Ken Onion Elite Bundle are down in the description below. Guys, you got to be careful with these things. If you're going to use this thing to sharpen your knives, you're going to have to be careful and learn how to deal with really sharp knives. This thing works fantastic. Quick and easy, even for beginners. Give me that thumbs up like button. Hit that subscribe button down there if you haven't already. There's going to be a few more in this series using the Workshop Ken Onion Elite Bundle to do some knife repair and just make everything we got razor sharp. Thanks for watching. See you next time.